Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a close look at listening to and installing the Revel Axle Back with Polished Tips available for the 11 to 14 GT. You should be checking this out as you just heard from our sound clips if you're looking for four out of five on our loudness meter, something that's gonna be one of the louder options in the category without going full straight pipe. Now, straight pipe obviously would be more of a muffler delete since this is an axle back. This guy here has a straight through bullet style muffler with very little baffling, but just enough to keep it from five out of five. Because I'm giving this four out of five on our loudness meter, it's got a ton of volume, especially at wide open throttle. Cold start is gonna be super aggressive. Running red light to red light once it warms up, you can keep it a little more on the tame side, but I will say guys, at deceleration at low RPMs, there is a little bit of drone inside the cabin. Now, if you're looking for something that's absolutely drone free, not gonna be the one for you, but if you're willing to get a nice, really awesome volume on the outside of the vehicle, and you're okay with a little bit of drone inside the car, this is a great way to go. Now again, without going full straight pipe and just completely deleting the mufflers altogether, I'd personally say this is one of the louder ones out there. Now, in terms of quality, this is gonna be 304 stainless steel. Revel's making a really high quality system. It's got a really nice build with it. It's got some nice four inch slash cut polished stainless steel tips. All of this being 304 stainless means it's really good for the guys, especially located in wintry weather areas, seeing a lot of road salt, which as you know, can take its toll on your exhaust materials. 304 is really corrosion and rust resistant, so you're paying for good quality stuff here. Now, in terms of mounting it up, it's gonna use the same factory isolators on the frame, and it's gonna bolt right up to your factory cat back. Now, if you have an aftermarket cat back and you're just swapping out those mufflers, you wanna make sure it has a three inch inlet. The three inch inlet is gonna to connect to that ball clamp that I'm gonna show you guys once we get to the install portion of the video. And at the end of the day, it's gonna come in all together about 570 bucks for the kit. The install, I'm gonna give one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Axle backs on the 11 to 14 GT are extremely simple. There's one clamp holding it on and the rest are hangers. I am gonna recommend unbolting the hangers from the frame to make your life easier. There's not a ton of room to slide the muffler back to just pull the hangers out of the isolator. And we'll walk you through that process in a minute. It'll take you about an hour maybe two from start to finish, depending on your personal experience. What do you say we get started? Tools used in this install include an impact gun, ratchet, extension, recommended would be a 13 millimeter swivel socket and a 13 millimeter short or deep socket. Recommended is also a hanger removal tool and PD blaster or WD-40. First step, we're gonna start on our driver's side. We got the vehicle up in the air. Grab a 13 socket. We're gonna loosen up the clamp holding on our factory muffler to the over axle pipe. All right, now at this point, it's a good idea to lubricate your uh, hangers and isolators. So I already did that. We're basically gonna push the muffler toward the rear of the vehicle so we can expose the bolt on the bracket above. So now that we push this forward, we can see this bolt here and this bolt here. We're gonna use a 13 millimeter swivel socket to get these guys off. All right, now the same bracket directly above the muffler, there's another one, but it's a little more difficult to get to with an impact gun. So we're basically gonna go in here with a quarter inch ratchet and a 13 short socket and get this guy off by hand. All right, so now there's one hanger left by the tip and if you lubricate it, you should be able to just get it out easily. All right, set this guy aside, repeat on the other side. All right, so we got both sides of our 14 GT axle backs off. I only have the driver's side on the table here to show you guys some similarities and differences between the factory one and of course our Revel axle back. Now, starting with the differences here, your factory muffler, of course, has a ton of baffling. It's gonna minimize all the volume that you'd wanna get out of your Coyote motor. And switching over to the Revel axle back, it's gonna be essentially a straight pipe with very little baffling inside of this bullet style muffler. Now, I know that doesn't make it a straight pipe, but the muffler itself really is just a straight through very easy going muffler. It's gonna allow all of the exhaust gases to escape very quickly. There's very little airflow restriction, which makes it a lot louder and more aggressive than your factory one. Another big difference here is gonna be the size. Now that's not gonna really make a difference to uh, any of the performance there. Of course, it's all about what's in the muffler that's gonna make all of the difference. But just in terms of getting this guy installed, it's gonna be a whole lot easier because with very little muffler to work with, you have a lot more space to get things in and out. 
So we can just install this bracket directly onto the frame and then slide our hangers into position on those brackets. Now, the reason we didn't do that off the factory one, it, just pulling it straight off, leaving this on the frame, is because the muffler is so big, it runs right into the frame and the rear suspension, not giving it enough room to get out. So with a smaller muffler, it's easy to get on and off. Finally, tips are gonna be a huge difference as well. Your factory tip is about three, three and a half inches, slash cut, double walled. It's polished, but it's not really polished like you'd want it from an aftermarket one. It gets dull after a while, as you can see here. It's pretty plain, very traditional stock muffler and tip assembly. But your new Rebel one is a four inch slash cut double walled tip, and it's polished 304 stainless along with the 304 stainless on the rest of the exhaust here. Now that's gonna mean it's more corrosion and rust resistant. The tip itself is going to hold its polished finish a lot longer. It's got the Revel name engraved on the tip there instead of embedded like most of the other aftermarket ones. And then finally, my only gripe with the system is that the tip is tack welded on in four different locations, top, bottom, and both sides instead of being fully welded on. The full welding would have looked a lot better, would have held up a lot longer, but this tip here is definitely going to stand the test of time. I would have just liked to see a cleaner weld getting that tip onto the assembly. Just my personal gripe, not gonna make a difference to performance. It's not gonna come off at all. It's on there for the long run, just worth noting. The next step here, I'm just gonna pop off our bracket. I'm gonna grab a hanger removal tool to help me do that. It should slide right off, especially if you lubricate it, WD-40 or PB Blaster. And then we'll hop onto the vehicle and bolt it up to the frame. Now that side will slide right off, but there's a little knob on the end here, so a hanger tool will go a long way to make this easier. Basically just gonna pinch this guy right off. And it slides right out. So at this point, we can take this guy off and I'm just gonna install this right on the frame and then this will slide right in. All right, so we're back under the vehicle on the driver's side. You're just gonna take your bracket. There's a retainer pin that'll go right into the frame to help you line it up. I'm basically gonna take those factory 13 millimeter bolts and I'm gonna thread them in by hand on all three positions. All right, so we've got one on the bottom, one on the side, one on the top. All right, so now you can get out of your 13 socket and tighten these guys down. All right, so at this point, we're basically going to make sure a clamp is on the end here. We're gonna go all the way back and slide our hangers into the bracket we just installed on the frame. All right, so they're fighting us a little bit. So I'm gonna grab PB Blaster and just hit those guys to help lubricate it. If you need to, sometimes bending these hangers up a little bit will definitely make life easier getting them lined up. All right, so we got that in making sure our pipe is connecting properly. Finally, let's do the hanger right above the tip. Line it up where you want it, tighten down your clamp. Repeat on the other side. That's gonna wrap this one up, guys. If you're looking for an axle back that gets four out of five on our loudness meter without going full muffler delete, you can get your Revel axle back for your 11 to 14 GT right here at AmericanMuscle.com.